Hey guys, this is Brian over at Wildwood Guitars with an amazing limited edition 914 CE. Now this guitar here, it's special for all sorts of different reasons. So let me just go ahead and get started now. So it's got a Sitka spruce top on it, as you would expect for the, from the 9 series. Really beautiful Sitka with the nice cross silk uh, medullary rays, they're called, I believe. But it also has some of the coolest tone wood I've ever come across. This is Blackheart Sassafras, certainly the coolest name ever for a tone wood. It, it has a sound worthy of the drama that the name elicits. Before I get too far into the way it sounds, another thing I wanted to mention is the fact that this guitar was on the summer 2017 cover of Wood and Steel magazine. This is that guitar. And if you don't believe me, I'm going to hold them both up at the same time. Like, look at this. This is the exact same guitar. I promise. <laughs> and uh, just super cool that we were even able to, to get this thing. And uh, there's also a little um, thing in the inside as well with its, with its cousins. I mean, just one look at it in person is easy to see why this one made the, made the front cover. Um, but back to the way it sounds. This guitar has a really cool uh, tonality. It's got a nice combination of brightness and warmth, and I, th I think it was very brilliant to, to uh, pair the Sitka Spruce with Blackheart Sassafras, which tends to be a little bit more transparent and have a little bit more of an emphasis on the high end, whereas the Sitka, you know, in combination with that, just makes for a guitar that it doesn't really have a weakness as far as I'm concerned. I, I think it can handle a flat pick just as well as it could handle finger style and alternate tunings are great on it too, as I was uh, you know, attempting to convey earlier in the video here, just because it has so much great note separation. Like every register of the guitar, you can hear it really, really easily. And as such, I imagine this guitar would mic really well Although I'm not going to be able to find out until after I'll be able to find out with you guys when, when this guitar publishes to our, to our YouTube channel. But um, in the meantime, in the room, it just sounds fantastic. Um, and also another cool thing about this guitar, it's got the ebony binding, which transitions into this uh, bevel, which I think is really classy. Uh, just the fact that Taylor seamlessly transitions their binding into their bevels on the nine series and makes it look so elegant is just, I, like I never get tired of looking at it. And um, you got a mahogany neck on this one as well. Goto antique gold looks like, 510 tuners, which you, you don't see as often. The gear ratio is just phenomenal. You know, when you're tuning them, it just feels like butter. And um, butter, it's, it's funny. The, it's like, it plays like butter, it feels like butter. Butter and the acoustic guitar culture, or guitar culture in general, like they're inseparable for some reason. <laughs> but these tune like butter. And, uh, and yeah, I, I'm a big fan of this guitar, guys. Uh, so feel free to check it out on our website. And if you have any other questions about it, reach out to us. Reach out to me, brian at wildwoodguitars.com. And uh, this has been me over at Wildwood. You guys have a lovely day.